Hi everybody, hi Mr. Tallarico, it's Kelsey Hotchkiss and for my family history project I'm going to be talking about my mother's side of the family. I'm one-fourth Sicilian, one-fourth Calabrese, um, one-eighth German, one-eighth Prussian, one-fourth English, and I'm 100% American. So check it out and I hope you guys enjoy this. My family tree starts with my great-great-great-grandfather, Raffaele Archo Isaiah, who was born in Cantania, Sicily in 1844 and died in 1914. He married Christina Contro, and my great-great-grandfather, Pietro Arturo Isaiah, was born in 1879. He married my great-great-grandmother, Maria Michaela Monaco, who was born in 1882. My great-grandfather, Raphael Arthur Isaiah, was born in 1902 in Cantania, Sicily. He came to America when he was eight years old on the Princess Irene with my great-great-grandmother. My great-grandfather went to school in America and grew up to marry Lucy Guarno on July 4, 1926. They had my Aunt Marie Helen Isaiah in 1927 and my grandfather Peter Arthur Isaiah in 1931 in Brooklyn, New York. My grandfather Peter Isaiah married my grandmother Anita Aurelia Shurillo. He also enlisted in the U.S. Navy when he was 19 years old and served abroad the U.S. Asteriskne for three years in the Korean War. He was later discharged in August 1954. From my grandparents' marriage came my Uncle Mark, who was born in 1954, my Uncle Michael, born in 1957, and my mother, Lucia Angela Isaiah, born in 1961. She became a registered nurse and married my father, Michael Allen Hotchkiss, born in 1962. They were married in 1990. My sister Tara Hotchkiss was born on January 6, 1994. She is attending the University of Kansas in the fall to become a registered nurse like my mother. And then there's me, Kelsey Lee Hotchkiss. I was born on March 4, 1997, and I'll become a junior in August at Archbishop McCarthy High School. So guys, now that you know all about, all about my family history, I decided to interview my grandmother, Anita Isaiah. Hi. Hi, Grandma. Hi, baby. <laughs> Um, so, just to let everyone know, what is your full name? Anita Aurelia, okay, Shirello <laughs> Isaiah. So, why did your family give you that name? Was it after someone or just made up? It was after a movie star. My mother had to name her first two after her mother-in-law and father-in-law, who she <laughs> never knew. Oh. And so, she said, this one is mine. Oh. So she named me after a, her favorite movie star. <laughs> That's cute, actually. Did they give you a nickname for it or no? Well, when I was in good standing with my mother, she would call me Needy. Needy. I know how Grandpa calls you Needy, so. He calls me Needy. Yeah. <laughs> so where were you born? Well, as Grandpa would say, the capital of the, of the world. Um, Brooklyn? I would say Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, what kind of house did you live in? It was a one-family house. It had uh, one, two, three bedrooms and two bathrooms, um, a big kitchen, a living room. We had no phone, strangely enough, but um, it was a very nice house, a garage. I mean, everything. <laughs> so, um... What were like any special items that you remember in the house? I remember the stained glass window in the um, dining room because my mother had a crystal bowl on the table and this, when the sun would hit the stained glass window, it would shine on the, on the bowl and it would form rainbows all around the room. <laughs> um, what were your what was like the best childhood memory that you could ever remember when you were little? My green high chair. <laughs> Why? Uh, my mother told me that it was at my first birthday, but uh, I remember my green high chair. That that was it as a as a baby, you know. That's all I remember. Well, so, Grandma, how did you meet Grandpa? Well, we were I was at my friend's house and. Uh, in those days, it was a pyramid club, and we were supposed to put in 22 cents and become millionaires by some, by some ridiculous uh, magic thing happening. And so he came in, and uh, he saw me, and uh, asked me to go out that very night. And I thought he had a lot of nerve. 
I thought if he wanted to go out with me, he should wait and call me and, and make it formal, you know. So I said no. So uh, after that, he asked my friend out, and of course she said yes right away. And they started to go out for two years, but he was, every time he'd be with her, he would make a pass at me, and it was very uncomfortable. But uh, anyway, he joined the Navy, and um, he went back to visit her and her parents, because they were all friends, you know, he yeah. had parents. And um, while he was there, she said, would you take me to my friend's house? And that was me. So he said, sure, he'd forgotten all about me. And so when he came, I asked him to stay because I was having a dinner for all my friends. Yeah. It was my birthday. And he said he had a previous engagement. So he, he went away. But after that, he came knocking at my door the next week and said, um, I'd like to go out with you. And if uh, I like you, I'd like you to meet my family. And I'd like to meet your family. And I'd like to get engaged. And I'd like to get married. And I thought, oh my god. <laughs> This guy is crazy. <laughs> no, but, but it's just the way it happened. So uh, inside of two weeks, we knew we wanted to get married. What does he always say that, like, how all this happened? What does he always say? I don't know what. It's all my fault. Oh, it's all my fault. <laughs> he always says it. That's right. He so. always says it's all my fault whenever, that he made all of Whenever this. a new child is born or whenever something good happens in the family, he says it's, it's all, all my fault. fault. <laughs> he so. takes credit for it. Yeah, but hey, that's just how it's happened, and I'm the third generation what now, so that's not bad. I think I'm pretty good. I'm the first generation American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you, Grandma, for that taking your all. time out of this. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Mwah! Love you too, darling. Bye, guys.